hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified on when i drop updates on this is fate stay tuned on this episode constable informs Prita about Shriti's sick condition she tells Shriti was complaining about chest pain Prita worriedly rushes to see her varum calls up karan and asks if kavya is okay karan tells everything is okay he likes Varum and tells he is very happy to have Varum for Kavya. Nidia attends to Shurya's call and tells him that she is going to the police station and she will file a big case on Rajvi and trap him. She asks him to take care of Kavya. Shurya refuses to talk to Kavya. She tells she, she lied to Karan about Rajvi and now Karan will support them. Shurya tells it's nothing new because Rajvi has always troubled him. Shurya hears Brackett telling Bani and Kavya about Rajvi. He gets angry hearing Ra Rajvi's supporters worrying for him. They love Rajvi as their own family. Kavya also prays Rajvi comes out of jail soon. She reveals she had gone to the police station to meet Rajvi. Shreya thinks it's his family, but they have an emotional attachment to Rajvi. Kavya tells Raki and Bani that Rajvi scolded her with love and asked her to leave. He's protective of her and took care of her. Raki tells he would get released soon. Shreya thinks Rajvi has a sharp mind and manipulated his family. Shriti asks Prita to help her. Constable opens the lock and lets Prita inside. Shriti asks Prita not to go to the Lutra house. Prita doesn't listen to her and tells she would go and beg them for Rajvi's sake. She doesn't care for her respect. She tells she loves Rajvi and would do anything, anything to save him. Inspector asks Rajvi what, what he did against the Lutras. He feels it's a personal rivalry case. Prita tells she would go and meet the Lutras. He asks her not to go there because the matter seems complicated. He tells the Lutras want to see Rajvi behind bars at any cost. He reviews Nidhi's call. He tells Nidhi can put more charges on Rajvi. Rajvi asks Prita not to go there. Karan takes Nidhi to Rajvi's house. He tells they should meet Rajvi's master and inform her about him. Nidhi rushes to stop him. They don't find anyone at home and leave. Sharia gets angry thinking of the family supporting Rajvi. He hurts himself. Kavya stops him. He asks why she takes Rajvi's side always. He tells she's his sister and she should take his side. But her love and support tends towards Rajvi. Raki meets them and scolds Rajvi for making Kavya cry. Shreya argues with her against about Rajvi. She asks him to calm down. He asks them to go to Rajvi. Prita asks Inspector not to follow Nidhi's orders. She gets worried. Mohit asks her to calm down. Nidhi thinks Shriti got married to someone else and had a child, Rajvi. She doesn't want to tell anything to Karan. She's glad Prita won't come into their sight. Prita asks the inspector to support Rajvi. She tells she would fight and free her son. She's determined to pr prove her son's innocent. Inspector tells he's helpless and can't do anything against the Lutras. Karan misses Prita and sings her praise. Nidhi gets irritated. Raki consoles Kavya. Kavya is hurt by Shuria's behavior. Raki tells Shuria would calm down and his anger would end by the evening. Kavya worries for Rajvi and misses Prita and tells she wishes Prita was with her. She tells Raki that sometimes she feels Prita is alive and will come to her. She regrets her wish isn't getting fulfilled. Raki hugs and pacifies her. Rajvi asks Prita not to go to the Lutra house. Prita then tells him that she can't leave him alone in this mess. Mohit thinks she's a great mother who is unknowingly helping both her sons. Prita tells the inspector that Rajvi is innocent. It's just because of Shuri and Rajvi's enmity that Nidhi is framing Rajvi. Inspector refuses to help her. She asks him to just answer her. He apologizes to her. Karan and Nidhi reach the police station. He tells he would park the car and come. Nidhi goes and meets Rajvi. She rebukes him. They get into an argument. Nidhi angrily raises her hand at him. Prita comes there and holds Nidhi's hand. She stops Nidhi and defends Rajvi. She asks Nidhi to just talk instead of raising her hand. She tells that Nidhi should not get violent. Nidhi is shocked that Prita is back. Prita tells she gave good values to Rajvi and he can never do anything wrong. Nidhi takes Prita's name. Rajvi gets worried. Kavya goes to take care of Sharia's wounds. He asks her to go to Rajvi and take care of him. She scolds him. She tells she's just taking care of him. He tells he got hurt because of her and she doesn't need to do favor on him. Karan thinks Prita is related to Rajvi and should support him. He wants Prita to come in front of him. He makes a prayer that he finds Prita. He tells Rajvi also needs Prita and wishes she comes back once. Rajvi thinks Prita is trying to recall the past. He didn't wish Prita to reveal that he is her son. Nidhi asks Rajvi about Prita. 
Radri avoids answering her. Prita tells they would not give them any time. Karan and Prita don't see each other. Prita goes with Rajvi. Nidhi gets relieved that Karan didn't see her. She thinks Rajvi is Prita's son. She wonders why Prita isn't coming home when she is in the city. She thinks they have come to take revenge on the Lutras. Karan holds Nidhi. She takes Prita's name again. He asks what happened and what she's hiding. Kavya speaks to Kav Varum. He tells he loves her a lot. He asks her to share her feelings with him. She tells him about Shreya's matter. He tells she knows Shreya's behavior and he gets hyper but calms down soon. Kavya tells she's hot when Shreya gets hot. He asks her to give some time to Shreya. Karan asks Nidhi to answer. She tells she has nothing to say. She asks him what he's hiding. He tells him he isn't hiding anything. They both hide about Prita and don't tell anything to each other. Nidhi fears Karan would know about Prita's son Rajvi and wonders why Shriti and Raj said Rajvi is her son. She rushes to stop Karan.